this video at home. The name of the video is Introduction to EFT by Gary Craig. One reason why I love EFT, it's quick, it's easy to learn by anybody, it can be taught, it can be shared, and there are a ton of YouTube videos that you can easily go to for almost anything. Now, emotional freedom technique. Gary Craig is an engineer who studied acupuncture, and then he developed emotional freedom technique. The discovery was tapping on specific points in the body's energy pathways called meridians while focusing on a negative event or emotion clears the energy system. Gary Craig stated, the cause of all negative emotions is a disruption in the body's energy system. This is a picture of our main meridian channels. Now I'm going to teach you the points of EFT. We start with the karate chop point. The karate chop point is either hand, and do this with me. On the side of the hand, the fleshy part, just like karate chop. And then we go to top of the head. Imagine drawing a line from ear to ear over the head and another line from your nose to the back of your head. The top of the head point is where those two lines would intersect. Now, beginning of the eyebrow, just above and to one side of the nose. Then you can do either side, or you can do both together. And I was originally taught by an acupuncturist. And in Eastern medicine, whatever you do on one side, you do on the opposite side. Equal time, equal pressure. Now, side of the eye, on the bone bordering outside corner of eye, side of eye, again, either side, or both sides together, which is the way I typically do it. Under the eye on bone under the eye, about an inch below the pupil. You can do one or the other or both at the same time. And then under the nose, chin, the collarbone point is the junction where the sternum, the breastbone, the collarbone, and first rib meet just below the collarbone on either side. It can be located by placing your forefinger on the U-shaped notch at the top of the breastbone, about where a man would knot his tie. From the bottom of the U, move forefinger towards navel about one inch, and then go to the left or the right about one inch. And again, one side, the other side, or both together.
under the arm, about four inches below the armpit, at a point even with the nipple for men, or in the middle of the bra strap for women, referred to as under the arm. Now, take a deep breath in, and let it out. How many of you noticed, just from that little bit, you felt calmer? Uh-huh, uh-huh, just from that little bit. When stress occurs, it can be like a pileup on an interstate. Think of the interstate as being your energetic system, your meridians. There's a power. There's a blockage. Go clear the traffic jam. Get the energy moving again. The body has an innate ability to help yourself to heal. Stress response, typically, you have stress, you have shallow, rapid breathing, you have impaired thinking, you have physical tension, then you make poor choices, then you have more stress. Basic skills can interrupt this cycle. Even though stress occurs, slow down your breathing. Improve your thinking. Decrease physical tension. Improve choices. One thing I teach is with breathing, a lot of the folks who have anxiety and have a thought, I can't let my guard down. I have to keep my guard up. When they're stressed, they're not getting enough oxygen to the brain. So therefore, the behaviors that they're engaging in, even though, getting back to your question, even though those behaviors may have been for them at one time, like putting on a life jacket, getting in a lifeboat, can actually be self-defeating. Because if you're not giving enough oxygen to the brain, you're thinking, your behavior, your choices are impaired. <coughs> <coughs> Breath and the emotional state. When there is fear, when there is agitation, there is shallow, rapid breathing. Not enough oxygen is going to the brain. When you are relaxed, when your body is rejuvenated, when your body is healing, there is slow, deep breath. So an exercise to do together, the emotional freedom technique, the basic recipe. And what a stress to you, when I was originally trained in EFT, it was four full days. I'm training you the basics in about an hour. Okay, so I'm leaving out a whole lot, but hopefully you're getting golden nuggets. Notice your breath. Breathe in slowly, three times, as fully as you can, without forcing. Assess the percentage of full breath with a zero being worse and hundred being the most full breath imaginable. Now, the setup phrase in EFT, again, using the karate chop point. Do this with me. Even though I am not breathing to my full capacity, I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I am not breathing to my full capacity, I deeply and completely 
accept myself. Even though I am not breathing to my full capacity, I deeply and completely accept myself. We said that three times. Now the reminder phrase in EFT, not breathing to my full capacity. We're going to say that while tapping each point at the karate chop point about seven or eight times. Not breathing to my full capacity. Not breathing to my full capacity. <coughs> Not breathing to my full capacity. Not breathing to my full capacity. Under the next. Not breathing to my full capacity. The chin. Not breathing to my full capacity. Collarback. Not breathing to my full capacity. <coughs> Under the arm. Not breathing to my full capacity. Under the other arm, not breathing to my full capacity. Now take a deep breath in and let it out. <coughs> now breathe in slowly three times, as fully as you can, without force. <coughs> Reassess percentage of breathing to full capacity. How many of you are breathing deeper? <coughs> now, answers to common questions. Does it matter which hand? No. Can I switch hands while tapping? Yes. Can I tap with both hands? Yes. Can I switch sides as I'm tapping? Yes. Can I tap on both sides? Yes. How many taps on each spot? Seven is most common, but more is sometimes better. How many fingers do I use when tapping? Two or more. Is the setup essential? Not always, but set up guards against reversal. Will EFT take away natural emotional responses? No. <coughs> Do I have to believe in EFT for it to work? No. Can I use EFT for every issue? Yes. Just modify setup phrase. How long do benefits last? Often forever, but repetition on different aspects may be needed. That comes from EFT universe. Now, barring benefits. Simply watching someone doing EFT on their own issues and your tapping along with them can help you reduce the emotional intensity of your own issues. It is a way to decrease risk of secondary traumatization. Reduce your own stress by helping someone else. Now, set up statement. Two goals. Acknowledge the problem. Even though I have anxiety, even though I have difficulty sleeping, even though my back hurts, even though I'm really stressed. And then accept yourself in spite of the problem. Set a phrase said while tapping on karate chop. Even though I have this issue, this pain, this stress, this difficulty, 
I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Alternative acceptance statements. I can accept that I cannot accept myself today. I'll consider the possibility that someday I can accept myself. I allow myself to be calm in this moment. Reminder phrase, few words that represent the issue, the stress or the symptom that currently bothers you. The language is focused on the negative because this is what you want to clear in the energy system. After the negative is clear, the positive will follow naturally. Keep the wording short, simple, and direct. Reminder phrase, said during tapping on each point after karate chop point. Keeps you focused while tapping. May use part of the scene that carries most emotion. If very high emotion, may say this scene. Last night in working with a group of clients, someone shared about using EFT when they were really, really angry. And it highlighted for me the importance of encouraging y'all, if you're working on anger, really let it come up. And it's okay to even yell while you're doing the tapping. Because the more you can bring it up, the more you can help your energy system to release it. When more help is needed, get specific. Think of hitting the bullseye of your issue. What happened? I felt. Be specific about when, what happened, and how you felt while tapping. Now, self-sabotage. Consider what's the upside to keeping the problem? What's the downside to losing the problem? Use above insights in the setup frames. When there is difficulty in letting go, acceptance phrases. Even though I still have some of this, whatever it may be, I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I still have a part of me that wants to hang on to whatever this is, I deeply and completely accept myself. Reminder phrase, this remaining, whatever it is that you're holding on to. When working on cravings, set up phrase, even though I, whatever the behavior is, when you have whatever the trigger is, I deeply and completely accept myself. Reminder phrase, whatever the behavior is, when there is a trigger. Emotional freedom technique can help with emotional, physical, and performance. There are free tutorials for almost every problem imaginable. There's MO Free and EFT Universe. There's free scripts and manuals and charts and diagrams that you can download. <coughs> now, we're going to prepare to help each other. Individuals will take turns being the helper, the one being helped. If extra person can be observer. When helping each other, choose some issue, stressor or symptom that currently bothers you, that you would like to experience some relief with. It is important that you recognize this as your experience, your reaction or a problem that you recognize as belonging to you. 
put the issue, stress, or symptom into a few words. For example, my sore shoulder, my anxiety. Steps for using with anxiety. Rate the current intensity of any anxiety you might be experiencing on zero to 10. Zero being none and 10 being the worst. So do this with me. Even though I have anxiety, I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I have anxiety, I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I have anxiety, I deeply and completely accept myself. Top of the head, my anxiety. Inner part of the eyebrow, my anxiety. Side of the eye, my anxiety. Under the eye, my anxiety. Under the nose, my anxiety. The chin, my anxiety. Collarbone, my anxiety. <coughs> <coughs> Under the arm, my anxiety. <coughs> Under the other arm, my anxiety. <coughs> Take a deep breath in. Remember, keeping it simple usually works. Now, a time to help each other. We're going to take about 20 minutes <coughs> for you to use the basic recipe. We're going to be in the dining room. You want to spread out and work with someone. You want to raise your hand if you have any questions, if you have any difficulty. And I'm going to walk around helping y'all to be able to help each other. And this is just the first step in healing. Then we'll come back in here and I'm gonna show you some stuff from the field of EMDR. And before we go out, could Sherry give a little testimonial about how this helped her? Sure. Thank you. Can you come up here? <coughs> She's gonna kill Keita and me too. No, she, she, she Thank you so much. Love you. Love you. Well, Keita and I went to have a meeting with Patty, and uh, little did I know, I thought that we would just be talking to her about coming to help the guests. Well, I don't know about any of y'all, but a lot of times you don't know when you're really stressed. And I've been having a pain in my shoulder. And I even went to the doctor about it, and he said that my pocketbook was too heavy. Hush, Kia. Um, and to quit carrying it on this side. But then she started to show me these techniques, and I started doing it. And my shoulder has not hurt since. It, it stopped hurting in the room. In the that, room. In that moment. I didn't want to leave your office. No. <laughs> I did. So it does work, y'all. And, and Patty has taught me another technique. Can you come up and share? I, said, I don't know if you're going to share, share the other one, but I had a terrible headache one day, and I even told Patty when she came in, I said, I don't know if I can even think well enough because my head hurt so bad for us to meet. And two minutes later, with what she did with me, my headache was gone. And I slept better that night than I'd slept in forever. So, so pay attention. It really works. I'm, I'm a believer. So, and the things she's taught me have helped me sleep since.